Welcome back everybody. Gaming Grandpa here doing the FM Challenge Youth Edition in FIFA 23. This is our transfer special. Now unfortunately because Ireland starts the season in January, the players that I actually sowed at the end of August, which is the main transfer window, you know, as like Lawrence here, you know, that was September 11th that he, the deal went through for a loan. More was, you know, November 6th. So, unfortunately, I can't go to the transfer history because we had to start a new year, January 1st, and end the season and whatnot. So, I wanted to show you, though, I did get rid of these players. I just can't show you how much, well, other than the email. But it's really kind of frustrating, but that's how it is with, you know, this type of save in Ireland. So, unfortunately, I can't do much about it. But I did get rid of my goalkeeper more, finally. I have too many goalkeepers, and he just wasn't up to snuff compared to the rest of them with OB, so I got rid of him. Now, Gil wasn't one of the players initially that I was going to transfer list because he was only 19, but I keep getting better players from Youth Academy, so I, I you know, might as well get rid of him, right? Hey, now, he was 26 when I got rid of him. He didn't play a game for me, so I'm sure he left in a good mood, but I just couldn't get rid of him. Now, Higgins... Once again, he wasn't one that initially I was going to get rid of, but once I started getting more players in, his playing time pretty much went to zero. So I was worried about the season performance review. I had nothing to worry about, though, because even though I didn't get uh, one of my critical objectives, I did manage to still you know, have this email where they didn't even have to think about it. So I was kind of happy about that. Now, I'm already getting, and I'll go through my objectives, but I already passed some of these. It's kind of funny. And they increased my transfer budget by 106,000 <laughs> another one all right and i'm going to cover the transfer history so far i only have three but that's because i already got rid of a few more all right now gibbs he's going to be a youngster that i want to keep around but i have more and moral <laughs> he's a star so unfortunately gibbs isn't going to be playing for me that much so that's why i went ahead and wanted to get him out on loan not to mention the fact that he's an important role and he was getting kind of aggravated one thing i hate about fifa is when you promote youth players fifa assigns the roles to them i mean if you have a starting 11 already how in the world are 99 percent of your youth academy players going to come in and get a crucial or an important role that doesn't ever happen they all get a youth contract and, and i wish they would take a look at that that drives me up the wall so, enough said. All right, I finally managed to get rid of Nolan. Now, Nolan wasn't from my youth academy, but he wasn't one that I initially had listed because he was, you know, only 19. But he just, he's not good enough. So, I, I wanted to make some money off of him. And Scott definitely wasn't good enough. So, you know, I mean, look at that. He's, I mean, he's, he's already was maxed at his, his development. I'm like, are you kidding me? So, I got rid of those guys. Now, once again, just so you don't, you know, in case you guys are doubting what I was saying earlier, I am not buying players. I have nobody shortlisted. Shortlisted. I have. I just. I have not bought any players. So, you know, these are all the players that I have transfer listed now. And doggone it, I was getting rid of these guys. And unfortunately, you know, once again, the transfer deadline day just does not work, and it's very frustrating. So, not much I could do. Now I'm going to currently go through my youth squad real quick, which is something that I've been doing during my transfer special. As you can see, I have a lot of goalkeepers. I don't like playing with this many, so I decided to go ahead and to get rid of a couple. I transfer listed these two. Now the reason I did that, number one, and I'll show you, Harris is already worth more than all of them, and he's only 17, and Carvajal is worth more than all of them too you know, the 18 and 19 year olds, and he's 17. So that's why I transfer listed these guys. You know, now if I get offers on them, you know, that's fine. Now, these guys are all Youth Academy graduates, which is good. All right, Yoshida, I have not found anybody that's going to be better than him yet, and he's showing great potential, so he's going to, you know, remain on the team. Way, he's a Youth Academy grad, and, you know, unfortunately I was hoping he'd be at least showing great potential, but he's not. But he's still, I mean, he's worth a decent amount of money. Now, Bowden, I transfer listed because, let's face it, I mean, he's 19 and only worth 130. And, you know, I don't, I have other backups that I could play in them positions. All right, here's another Youth Academy grad. He's only 16. But 
He was whining and moaning, and he was going to leave the academy if I didn't promote him. And so I went ahead and promoted him, and we'll see how he turns out, you know. Now, when I sign my, uh, I'll cover that when I get into the youth academy, and I'll tell you how I sign him and what I base it off of. All right, done. I transfer listed him. I mean, he's still under 20. He's a good backup, but I have other players that are in that role, and so that's why I just decided to transfer list him. All right, Kimura. He's, he's gone up. I mean, I think he's going to be a really good player for me. He, he's been my starting right back pretty much most of the season. Ryan has been playing center back for me, surprisingly. He's been doing a really, really good job. And I need to delete all of my favorite players because I'm tired of them popping up because I don't know how to edit them out. So, you know. But I'm going to keep him for a little while. He is an important player, but he's played most of the games for me. All right, now Norris is transfer listed. And I was debating on this one, you know, because... He can play left back for me, you know, which is kind of handy to have a backup. But then I got a couple more Youth Academy grads that I'm going to bring up anyway that can do that. So why not? Now, as of now, I'm not getting rid of Duffy. He's He's been playing a striker mode for me for most of the season, as you remember. All right, now this is Morris. I, I didn't know what to do with him. I mean, I don't like to transfer list players until they're at least 18 unless I just don't have a choice or I know they're not going to be good enough. Then I will. All right, now Mason... He's, I didn't know what to do with him. He's only sporadic, so that was fine with me. Now, Caffrey, I went ahead and transfer listed him. He was playing center back for me for most of the year. He's just not good enough. I mean, that's what it boils down to. And Brennan, I'm not transferring list him yet, but he's probably not going to be here too much longer either because I have better players. All right, here's another kid that came up. And look, see, here's what I'm talking about. He's a crucial mo role. Okay, first off, I don't play with two central attacking midfielders. I play with one. This kid here is the one. So how in God's green earth did he end up with a crucial role when Merle is already in his position? I, I don't I don't understand it. He is worth 1.4 million at a 17, but here's what's crazy. It says at the club since 2023 for his status. So he's not even showing great potential, but I, I don't know. It's crazy. Now, Gibbs, he was showing great potential, and he's worth less. So I just, I'm totally lost. But he, no, he had a rotational role. That's right. I just wanted to transfer listing because I, when I signed Abbas from the Youth Academy, he got that crucial role. I'm like, he ain't going to get any game time. So that's why I went ahead and loaned him out, not transfer listing. All right, Adams and Cooper are my right mids. But look at that, an exciting prospect. So I'm excited about him. Now, Adams, when he turns 18, I'm probably going to go ahead and get rid of him. But, you know, once again, I'll talk about the Youth Academy when I get there. All right, Lowe, he's been playing for me since the beginning i brought him up because i was shorthanded on players and he's he's gone up he was a 44 i think when i brought him up so we'll see what happens with him but i mean he's not worked too much but he's only 16 so we'll see what happens all right now this kid's been my starting left winger for most of the season now he's not a bad little player he just doesn't score that much for me but he's a winger so i'm okay with that now here's where my attacking players get it gets kind of crunched in here. There's a lot of players. All right, I went ahead and loan listed Barry because he is in an important role, and he's just, be honest, he's not playing that much. All right, Lonergan, I actually transfer listed him. Part of the reason is because his contract expires, and I can honestly find better players in my youth academy, so I go ahead, went ahead and transfer listed him. I loan listed Sato, and here's my thinking. I have this kid who is going to end up being fairly good. He's only a 56, but I just found him in the Youth Academy and already promoted him. And I have Jin, and I have Ahmad. And Ahmad is an important player, and he's showing great potential. So I kind of, I had to loan list some of these other players because I don't need one, two, three, four, five, six strikers slash center forwards. I don't, I need three. You know, two starters and a backup, you know, and it's just, it's crazy. But anyway, that's what's going on with my squad. now. I'm going to show you the Youth Academy, and I'm going to explain some things here. Now, when I sign players, I sign them two reasons. Number one, they're worth a lot of money. All right, if they're 15, 16, 17 years old, and they're worth over 500,000, I'm most likely going to sign them at this club. Not at other clubs, I wouldn't even think about it. All right, I'm signing them at this club because I do need the money. 
And now, it's going to come a time in a year or so when I have max scouts at 5.5 five, and I'm not going to need the money because I'm not buying players. So I'm going to be a lot more selective on the players that I sign. But I'm going to go into the objectives here in a minute and you'll know why I'm doing this. The second reason is because of their potential. If you notice, quite a few of these kids have a high-end potential. And we'll see if they get there. But anything around 75 to 94 they're going to end up being probably at least showing great potential, possibly exciting prospect. And you never know, some might end up on the high end, you know, and we'll see. Now, I'm very excited about, where is he at? Ali, this kid. I just signed him on my last scout report, and he has worked $2.2 million already. So, chances are, he's going to be, has potential to be special. So, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. I had two players I signed at the last second and I'm trying to find out where the other one is I thought they were both from Algeria but maybe I was wrong huh maybe it was Egypt I'm not for sure but I was just super stoked I'm like holy crap man or was it Venezuela god I'm getting confused I don't know <laughs> but I signed two players one was 2.2 million one was 1.1 million so I signed them and once they get of age I'm gonna go ahead and bring them up now i i can promote some of these now but remember i don't like pro promoting them unless they're in the 60s i mean that way i can see their status and then i'll keep them till they're 18 and then get rid of them so but this kid here has already got a finesse shot i mean i'm just you know there are going to be some really good players coming through the academy and that's why i'm constantly getting rid of players now i want to go over the squad objectives and Remember, I don't buy players. I don't use the transfer window except for selling and loaning out players. I don't even loan in players. That's against the rules. Now, sign two players in your youth academy assigned to the defender position. I happened to get lucky and got those two left backs the last um, scouting period. And it says sign at least three players under the 20 years average, which is funny because I just brought up three players from the youth academy and they were all better than what I had. So I got that one done. All right, that one... Not a big deal. I'm not really worried about these. They're very low, so I'm not worried about them. This one here. See, I filled the one where keep salary growth under 15%. I was very ticked off about that because I signed Youth Academy kids, and it got to the point where I wasn't signing them until you know their three months was up, and I had no choice, either sign them or lose them. But then it made my salary go up, and I was just very aggravated. Now, here's another thing that is really, really aggravating to me. Make a $5.1 million profit from youth player sales within three seasons. I have been selling my youth players, and I, that hasn't moved. So I'm really aggravated about that. Now, the other thing is, the one above it, sell two players and sign one important player. Okay, I have two, both of them complete. That's not a big deal, but finish the season without any unspent transfer budget. I can't buy players. So what that means to me is, I am going to have to do it with the scouts because that does go on my transfer budget when I get rid of them you know the youth staff and if you're looking the 4-4 guy I'm not really in that big of a hurry to get rid of him but Aaron O'Neill and Mika Bakonic I would like to get rid of them I tried to do it when their scout reports was over at the end of December the problem was is there wasn't any good scouts it's like holy crap man so I just I couldn't do it so I wish that you can see what's on the market before you hire these guys and you got to fire them and then it's just a mess, man. But I did do a save and I did reload my save because I was just looking to see because I'm not going to sit there and hire and fire people like they tell you to do to try to find that 5-5 scout. It's just not worth my time or energy. So anyhow, that's pretty much... Might as well go ahead and talk about the starting lineup now. There isn't really very many changes, but there's a couple. All right. Ahmad is going to end up being my starting striker. He replaced Lonergan. And Barry is on the bench too because of Abbas. Remember that central attacking midfielder that could also play central or center forward? That was a crucial role. Yeah, he's he's taken over that position. Of course, my stud here is always in that position. Montero and Cooper, that hasn't changed. Kimura and Yoshida has not changed. Ryan, now way is going to be my starting center back this year. He took over Caffrey's position. Now, Ryan, I don't know what I'm going to do yet for that one, but as of right now, he is going to be playing in that position still. And then Harris, because I got rid of 
my other goalkeeper more he ends up taking his place and Brennan I don't know what I'm going to do I am training a couple youngsters to be central defensive midfielders so I'm probably going to get rid of him at some point and then this is going to be my start or my substitutions so we'll see how things go but right now everybody's eligible to play I don't have any ineligible players because I got rid of all the players that originally when I said were you know when I went through it saying these players are too old I gotta get rid of them so all I have now getting rid of is players I want to get rid of so it works out but anyway we are playing I think it's the last game yeah in the European National Cup we are currently in fourth place at one point because we drew our first game so this is our second game but I want to show you one more thing before I call it a night here we are in the Champions League which blows my mind I thought we were maybe oh no we're not I'm so sorry I am so confused I get my my um Saves mixed up. My PSV team was in the Champions League. Okay, here's how you do it. You go to stats. Europa League. That's right. We're in the Europa League. And we finished 7th. So I don't know how in the hell we're in a Europa League. Oh, never mind. We're still in... Oh my god, I'm getting my, my saves mixed up. I'm so sorry. That's right. The Europa League's still continuing. We Remember, we got out of the group stage. It just We don't know when we play yet because it doesn't start again for a few months. So it's really, really crazy. Sorry. Went brain dead there for a minute. But anyway, I'm going to be back. I'm going to finish the preseason. And then... Oh, calendar. Yeah, look, I got 4 million I need to get rid of. <laughs> Man, that's just... I hate them objectives like that. All right, but anyway, I'll be back on the 10th against Finn Harps for the first game of, this, of the season. And we'll go from there and see who I'm going to be playing in the Europa League. But anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. You know, if you really like what I do, leave a big thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Drop me a comment or two. Tell me what you think. If you know, if you don't like the goalkeeper locking in the way I do, let me know. You know, I'll listen to anybody's argument. I don't think I'm going to change my mind, but I'll listen. And then go ahead and, you know, subscribe that way you can get updates on every time i send up a new video and upload it which is quite often but anyway guys thanks again and talk to you